Welcome. It's Friday. And it's the Assisting Hands Richmond Friday Finish. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're getting going here. I'm going to make my transition to screen share here. Um, give me a second, as always. Perfect. Well, again, welcome. It's Friday. It's the Assisting Hands Richmond Friday Finish. I'm Eric Rohr. I'm the owner of Assisting Hands. We're going to do a quick rundown of the week, and then we're going to get into speaking with our shout out guest this week. So Assisting Hands is a home care agency where our goal is to help you remain happy and at home. Our clients are anywhere from, we've got a four-year-old all the way to someone who's just celebrated their 100-year birthday. So it's really clients of any age. Um, we take care of people in their home wherever they would call home. And that could be a traditional home, an apartment, a condo, assisted living community, independent living community, or even in a skilled nursing facility. Um, so we go wherever they consider home and we help them with personal care and the activities of daily living. Um, and so, and we specialize in dementia and dementia care. Um, a couple things. Um, last Friday, I kind of pre-announced that Assisting Hands Richmond was announced as one of the 2020 Richmond Times Dispatch finalists in the home in-home healthcare category as the best. And we're really proud to get that award. And we want to thank everybody who supported us over this past year. Um, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we've been putting out posts on our Facebook page about breast cancer awareness and making sure um, people are getting the necessary checkups to, um, for early detection of breast cancer. Also this week is National Case Management Week. This is for all the case managers and social workers and all the communities and facilities um, across the country. And we just wanna give a big thank you because what they do is really, really important in helping their uh, patients make the right transitions to care wherever that next step may be. So we want to thank everybody for what they do there. Also have another thank you. Uh, the great folks at Heritage Oaks yesterday had a drive-through happy hour, um, if you will, and you drove up and you got one of these great bags and inside was all the uh, fixings for this great recipe, which I'm going to try out this weekend. It's cinnamon roll cocktail. Um, and it looks really good. It looks like a good warm weather cocktail in the evening. So thank you for uh, Heritage Jokes for doing that. And uh, we really appreciate the creativity there. All right, um, I wanna congratulate uh, Chiandra F. I'm not allowed to use her last name just to protect her uh, from this. She also is a little camera shy. We did take a picture, but then she said she didn't want us to use it. Uh, she's a great caregiver and she's our September superstar, um, which is our basically our September employee of the month. And if you remember, our star program is setting targets and achieving results. And um, so we, she's a nice little award and um, we really wanted to congratulate her for doing just a wonderful job. She's very reliable and her client loves her, absolutely loves her. All right. Next month, December 12th, we're having the next workshop in our series. It's a dementia workshop that's led by Kathy Hamlin. Um, she's our executive administrator and she's a certified dementia coach. Um, the workshop is going to be about dementia conversations. We'll get in a little bit more about um, going to the doctor, uh, driving, and kind of financial legal conversations you may have to have with a loved one that may have dementia or living with dementia. Um, I'll be sending out more information on all my social media and emails next week with the registration link for you to register um, via Zoom. All right, the other thing I'm um, really starting to crank up the intensity on kind of talking about is the walk to end Alzheimer's at the end of this month. Uh, last week we had gotten to about $1,700 out of our $2,500 goal this week. He raised a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, we're still not where we need to be, but we're getting closer and closer. So I'm asking people to come join the team or donate to the Alzheimer's Association. And if you're interested in that, you can reach out to me via email or um, go to the Assisting Hands Walked in Alzheimer's 
page and you can sign up or donate through that page. It's really simple. All right, that's gonna bring us to the shout out of the week. And I'm really excited about this. Um, so this week's shout out guest is Danny Washington. She's the owner of Caring Transitions. So welcome, Danny. Thanks for having me. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Great. Um, I'm really excited to have Danny. I, I've kind of seen her at a lot of different networking events. Her and I had the uh, pleasure of having our tables next to each other at one of the very first outdoor networking events I had done in a long while. So I was talking a little bit more about her services and um, thought it'd be a great idea because what she does is uh, really beneficial to uh, clients of mine and other people that are probably watching this um, video. So Danny, I'm just gonna, you know, jump right in there and gonna ask you a few questions, but it's kind of free will, you know, range and you can talk about whatever you want. I just wanted to kind of kick off and tell me a little bit about why did you start your business? Well, that's a good question. I get that a lot. Um, so I was in the restaurant industry and I did that pretty much my whole life and just wanted a change of scenery, a change of pace. And I actually saw this and I was like, is this a real thing? You get to help people and, you know, help people move through the different stages of their life and also sell things, which I thought was really neat. So um, I looked into it and then um, just really thought that it would be a really rewarding business to be in. And I was looking for something more in the service industry and it's definitely you know, that's exactly what we do. So and I've yeah. always been very close with our grand my grandparents and loved the senior industry in general, um, as well as the resale business, help, you know, selling things that instead of going and buying new, I've always enjoyed thrift stores, antique stores, things like that. So it was a perfect fit for me. Yeah, great. Well, then why don't we just kind of jump in and kind of talk about what services you provide? I think you have a couple different kind of categories there. Yeah, so we have the two different um pretty much service lines. We do the senior move managing. So we help our clients downsize, whether that's from a 5,000 square foot house into a 500 square foot community, or if it's a 2,000 square foot house into a 1,500 square foot house. So we really don't draw the line anywhere. We can help anybody um, as long as they want some a little extra help with figuring out what's going to fit packing, the moving, the unpacking, the making things look pretty and kind of mirroring the way it was before. Um, so that's a big part of our business. And then the other part is the liquidations. So we do the estate sales, online auctions, clean outs, um, and private sales. So we'll go in and any size project, whether it's huge or really small, and figure out how we can help them liquidate what they have, clean out their home, um, or just get rid of some things that they, you know, no longer need. So we we really say no project's too big or too small. Yeah, that's good. Um, so what areas do you all service? So we are a franchise. So technically we can cover the whole country um, where we have offices, but our office in Richmond covers the greater Richmond area. So we, we right now we go from Fredericksburg um, to Charlottesville, Williamsburg, um, and then uh, Petersburg. So yeah. we have offices in those areas that we kind of all work together and service the surrounding area. Great. And I think you were just telling me today you were doing a move in and a clean out. So in the rain. So yep. you guys are really, really busy. <laughs> yeah. The weather doesn't stop us unless it's really bad storm. So. Yeah. Um, so, you know, one thing, and you know, I've talked about this before, is where I think we definitely have like a common kind of goal to, in helping people is around fall prevention. You know, we'll go into people's house and we'll, you know, be looking for certain things about cords not being kind of out, you know, rugs, um, other things. What are you guys, or what are you guys kind of looking for in terms of fall prevention and to help your clients? So we do the same thing um, when we're going to help a client move. Well, you know, if they have tripping hazards, if they were trying to put a rug on top of another carpet, we know, you know, that's just asking for trouble. The same right. thing, like you said, cords not being stretched. We'll try to, you know, figure out how we can put lamps or things closer to the walls and kind of situate their living space. And we also look for um, them being able to navigate it safely. So it's no really tight corners, really tight walkways. So if the day comes they need a walker or they have a friend over, there's no accidents or anything like that. So we try to really help, you know, 
prevent those things up front rather than you know having a big trip hazard and it being too late yeah, yeah and I, I guess that's where decluttering really comes in is important yes and we also like you were saying sometimes our clients aren't moving at all they just have way too much stuff that they don't need anymore and so we go in and help them get rid of it and it really you know sometimes i'm sure you've seen clears pathways for mm -hmm. a once very cluttered area is now very open and it just helps in a lot of ways and i'm assuming you will go into some pretty extreme uh situations where it's even almost like a hoarder situation and really that is a massive so it's not like you need a neat house perfectly no. in order. You guys are going to go in and you can handle extreme situations. Yes. The way we try to do it, if the client is still um, living there, we try to get the client moved first and then we come in and deal with the, the things that they can't take. So we try to get them to take only their necessities and then we come back and, you know, we can bring in a dumpster, we go through everything. But I will say sometimes the best sales are in the houses with the most just clutter. So... Um, there's sometimes value in it, sometimes not, but right. yeah, we try to get the client safely removed and what they need and then deal with the, if it is very, very cluttered. Right. Right. Well, good. Um, so I'm putting up some of your contact information so people can help, uh, get a hold of you. So talk a little bit about your different websites and maybe talk a little bit more about your auction site. Cause I was on that earlier this week preparing for it it's, it's a pretty nifty site so if you want to talk about that a little bit more okay um so carrying transitions the website is more of just our services if you want to um you can put in a service request and we'll contact you um it kind of gives you an overview of all of our services and a newsletter and things like that ct bids is more of our auction site um, so that's where I have a store called the Richmond area and all of our different locations have stores all over the country. So you can shop locally or you can shop all over the place and get things shipped to you. Um, and we have sales going, they normally last for about 10 days. So they're going up all the time and ending all the time. So you kind of have to pay attention, but we have some really neat stuff um, that, you know, the bidding starts at a dollar. So you never know what you're going to, what you're going to get for what. Yeah. That's great. And I forgot to put it on the slide, or, uh, but I'll mention it is you're really good about posting on your Facebook page, like kind of, I think what you think are like the hidden treasures or the really interesting items. So I think people should probably follow you on Facebook because I think then that was an easy way to get notified when some cool stuff's coming up. Definitely. We try to advertise every auction um, that we have on Facebook. And we, like you said, we put the the things that we think people will appreciate the most at the top or individually and highlight things. So yeah, definitely check out our Facebook page. Yeah, good. And that, just go on and just type in Carrying Transitions Richmond and they'd be able to find your Facebook page pretty easily. Yes. And it, I think on Facebook, it's Greater Richmond. Um, okay. But either way, it should come up easy. We're the only one in the Richmond area. Yeah. And if you really have any questions, uh, here's uh, the phone number or email address for Danny. So I think that'd be great. And I really encourage everybody to get a hold of her. Um, she really has a lot of energy. She's got a great reputation in the senior care community. Um, and so I, you know, definitely would use her myself or for any of my loved ones. So please oh. give Danny a call. Well, thank you. All right. Any, anything else you want to say before we kind of wrap it up here? Um, I think we covered a lot of it, but thank you for having me on today and hope everybody has a great weekend. Yes, great. Well, good. Well, I just got a couple other items and we'll finish out the Friday finish. All right, get everybody, you know, I'm pushing this YouTube stuff. I want people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you know, this is where we're putting our content, like our dementia workshops up there. Um, these Friday finish videos, because I know people just want to keep watching these over and over. I'm sure people are binge watching my Friday finishes um, every weekend and they're storing them up. But it is a good place to put content and please go subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when we put new stuff up. And this, for the rest of this month, I'm just kind of tying this. Um, I, I'm going to, for every new subscriber between now and October 31st, I will add a dollar to my donation to the Alzheimer's Association. I'll tell you, I was at a whopping 16 <laughs> subscribers when I started this. I think I'm up to 19. So come on, guys. Make me uh, start sweating this uh, promise and uh, push me up over 100 and beyond. So anyway, I uh, just wanted uh, to kind of push that a little bit. Um, and that's pretty much it. 
Um, everybody have a good, uh, good weekend. And I hope everybody can remain happy and at home. Thank you very much.